Uh, good evening, dear friends. My name is Svana Kovalyova, and uh, I, I'm greeting you not from the Russian house in Kuala Lumpur, as usual. I'm on the way from Kuala Lumpur to Georgetown, the capital of the United States. Because uh, on uh, this uh, day in uh, 1914, um, it was a very big tragedy. And uh, every single year, we try to visit Kenan and uh, to take part in a uh, flower laying ceremony at uh, the grave of Russian sailors, sailors of Russian cruiser Jemchev. This year is the year of the 55th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Malaysia and Russia. But I'm really sure that our real friendship lasts longer more than 55 years because usual Malay fishermen try to rescue Russian sailors. Thank you so much, Malaysia. Thank you so much. And uh, today we would like to continue our conversation about Russian universities. We would like to strengthen relations between our country, countries and uh, of course in uh, such field as education. So we invited for this uh, meeting a uh, high ranked university, St. Uh, Petersburg Electrotechnical University. And I would like to give the floor to a key person of uh, the Russian delegation, Ms. Minina, Anastasia Minina. Please welcome. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's really a great pleasure to participate at this online meeting for us. And uh, today it's also, uh, we are very happy to be here and uh, to speak about our university, about St. Petersburg Technical University, I and my team. Uh, I would like to introduce first of all myself and uh, who will be with me on this meeting. My name is Anastasia Minina and I am Vice Rector for International Affairs of St. Petersburg Technical University, LITI. And uh, today with me will be Anastasia Geishik, uh, the keynote speaker, uh, the person who is a manager of our uh, student uh, international office. And uh, she will represent our university and uh, tell you how to enter our university, what program we have, and what to do in order to, to be here in St. Petersburg, in one of the most beautiful city in the world. Uh, the other very, very, very important person Today is our student, uh, the student of our program uh, who study in English. Uh, he is a master's degree student, uh, the program Technology, Technology Innovation Management. And uh, his name is Mohammed Amir Aswain bin uh, Hashan. Uh, so maybe a little bit of a mistake in the name, but uh, when he will represent himself, I'm sure that he uh, correct everything. Uh, and uh, today we will speak about uh, a lot of questions, uh, how to enter university, what is it our St. Petersburg University, uh, what is it our beautiful city, and uh, how to be in Russia and what to do in order to be here. Uh, that's why I would like to give the floor to my colleague Anastasia Geishik and uh, she will tell you in more details about everything. So Anastasia, please, the floor is you. Thank you. Good day, everyone. I am glad to see you. Um, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Anastasia Agejic. I am the manager of International Students' Office. And now let me show you the presentation. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Today, I want to tell you about the first electrotechnical university, LATI, about education, our programs, and admission opportunities. Let's start. ETU, LATI, is the first electrotechnical university in Europe. 
It was established in 1886 by the order of Alexander III, Emperor of the Russian Empire. Of course, we are very proud of our history, our professors and graduates. For example, Alexander Popov was not only the famous scientist and the first elected director of the university, but also he was the first one who invented a radio receiving device. But this was a long time ago, and the modern history, we can proudly say the one of our graduates and former professors, Jores Alfero, received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2000. Today, it consists of seven schools and the university campus, includes seven buildings. The campus itself is located in the historic city center. The university has a modern laboratory, library, and student spaces. Pay attention to the unique development of Leti, Ducky Town. Ducky Town is a testing ground for autonomous movement algorithms, which is reduced model of the urban transport and environment, which includes smart roads, vehicles, traffic, traffic lights, buildings. It's very impressive. Nowadays, more than 9,000 students attend study programs at E2 annually. Among them, more than 2,000 come from abroad, representing nearly 92 countries. St. Petersburg Electrotechnical University is a participant of the Federal Academic Leadership Program Priority 2030. We rank fifth in the salary of graduates of technical universities in St. Petersburg. We rank sixth in the High School of Economic Ranking among technical universities. 25 educational programs recognized is as the best educational program of innovative Russia. On this slide, we proudly present our partners. On this slide, you can see our faculties. The university is one of the largest training centers for highly qualified personnel in such sectors as electronics, advanced wireless technology, artificial intelligence medical engineering, as well as fundamental and applied research, confidently occupation, occupying a leading position in the development of electronic and information system, human life support and protection technology, environment creation of nanomaterials and the latest nanotechnology. So, I'm going to present our English taught master's program. We are glad to offer you 10 master's degree program, which are taught in English. You can see the program on the slide. You can also learn more about the program on our website. Next, I want to present our English taught postgraduate program. We are glad to offer you seven postgraduate programs, which are in English. You can see this program on the slide. You can also learn more about the programs on our website. Attention, now I will tell you very important information about the unique opportunity to enter into let's see, for free education. I am talking about the Open Doors Olympia. For five years now, we have jointly hosted an open doors community competition that gives students from all over the world a chance to receive scholarships to study under master's and postgraduate program. To participate in the Olympiad, you need to fill out a portfolio on the open doors website. You can scan the QR code to get to the website. The winners of the competition will receive a scholarship quota that fully covers tuition fees, as well as monthly payment from our university. Only the winners of the com competition receive a scholarship for studies. 
However, not only the winners, but also the prize winners of the Open Doors competition receive preference for our university. All of you will be able to take Coursera courses, summer and winter schools for free, receive grants for tuition or academic mobility, take part in academic mobility, double diploma programs and more. Application deadline in December 10. So I advise you to send an application that will help you to achieve your dreams. Such an opportunity should not be missed. Do your best to win the Open Doors Olympiad. Our university offers different bachelor's, master and uh, postgraduate program in Russian language. And if you want to get education in Russian language, if you are in interested in Russian language, then for you, we have established preparation department. The free profile, technical, economical, and humanitarian. Our basic courses last from October to June. First semester is dedicated only to Russian language. And during the second semester, there will be not only Russian language classes, but other subjects as well. Math, physics, computer science, some social st studies, like Russian history and others. Subject depend on the chosen profile. The education at our preparation department is conducted in small groups. It means individual approach to all students, more conversation practice and full engagements of all students during the educational process. Additionally, our tutors organize special excursion for students help them with their questions and issues during the period of adaptation in new country. Moreover, our summer and winter school are free of charge for international students of our preparation department. On the next slide, I will talk about the program of the winter and summer schools. On the slide, you can see the list of winter and summer schools program in English. This program is a short term program for a week to a month. You can scan the QR code for more information. On the slide, you can see the information about the winter and summer school program in Russian. Summer and winter school in Russian are a unique combination of gaining professional knowledge and immersion in Russian life culture and history. Classes are held in the classrooms and laboratories of E2 Leti, as well as outside the classrooms. Excursions around the St. Petersburg and its suburbs, visits to museum and cultural sites. And now let's talk about accommodation. E2 Leti provides housing for all international students. The price for dormitories is quite slow. It's about $22 per month. All dormitories are located near metro station. They are well equipped, safe and comfortable to live in. There are cozy rooms, fit kitchen, bathroom, sport rooms, gym and elevators in every hall of residence. Security guards are in dormitories 24 seven and they are in charge that everything is in order there. Every resident have a pass card to get inside the building. If you choose to study at our university, you will have a lot of opportunities to start a high potential career in the future. Also, you can enjoy dynamic campus life and get support from the university community. All of this and so much more wait for you at, at E2 Leti. Of course, our university international community is very dynamic and a lot of activities are organized for our international students. Join E2 Leti, join us, participate in different events and learn with us Russian history, culture, cuisine and traditionals. And all of it is available for you free of charge. That, uh, that's all I wanted to tell about our university and programs.
That was a lot of information to digest. But dear applicants, please do not worry. The webinar will be recorded and the presentation will be also available for you. Moreover, you can ask the team of International Student Office about anything regarding enrollment, application and finance of any given time. Just write an email. All contacts and links you can see on the slide. We are looking forward to welcoming you in our big and friendly international family. We don't say goodbye. We say see you at Leti. And now let me introduce you our dear student at Leti from Malaysia, Muhammad Amir Asnavi bin Mokht Hisham. Amir, please, you can start. Um, thank you, Anastasia. Assalamualaikum and very good evening, everyone, my fellow Malaysians. First of all, I would like to extend uh, my thank you to the International Students Office of LITI for giving me this opportunity to participate in this webinar. Um, to be honest, I miss my fellow Malaysians ever since uh, coming here in St. Petersburg. But worry not, I love St. Petersburg so much. Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Amir Asnawi bin Muhammad Hisham. I'm a first year master's student uh, at LITI. My major is uh, master's in technology innovation management. My program is fully taught in English, so that's a plus for me. And I started my study here in September 2022. So I am quite new about St. Petersburg, about this university, but let me share you my experience that I've had so far for the last, let's say, two months. I have been looking for a lot of universities abroad to study for my master's, but I find Russia has one of the best universities based on the price to quality ratio. And to be fair, I have uh, con also considered a lot of universities um, from other places in Europe, but uh, Russia. Uh, is the best uh, option if you are looking for budget friendly and also top uh, affordable and top tier quality education. Because just so you know, education in Russia equals to education in Europe, but in uh, uh, cheaper price or lower price compared to other places in Europe, but the quality is the same. I personally chose Liti. Uh, because the program offered at LITI corresponds with uh, my bachelor's degree. And furthermore, LITI is located nearby the Petrogradskaya metro station, which is two stations away from uh, the center, which is a very big plus actually, if you love uh, the city, the St. Petersburg, and you can really explore everything nearby LITI. And other than that, the walk from the metro station to the university itself is such a breeze. The learning experience are also very, very different from Malaysia. Um, with the expert professors that has dedicated their lives into research and academics, you would totally enjoy the lessons every now and then here in uh, St. Petersburg, especially in Liti. And let's talk about the fun studying in Russia, specifically in Liti. First of all, Liti is just amazing. From the facilities to the professors and to the service provided by the International Students Office, everything was such a breeze. Liti are filled with activities, a lot of activities uh, that can boost your confidence, make friends with your local Russian students, your, you don't speak Russian, that's okay, because you can learn Russian language from your friends. And uh, one more thing, there are a lot of extracurricular programs and activities prepared by the university at the faculty level or even departmental level. In fact, this week, I had one whole week of activities from Tuesday all the way until today, where we had interweek, which is interdisciplinary week uh, provided uh, by the Faculty of Innovation, where all the students can get together and learn about the startups on how to build startups, and it is for free. And they also included some excursions to the university, which is amazing and great. And 
like I said, you can join all of the activities provided by university for free. The University International Students Office always do a lot of excursion for free for international students who wants to discover St. Petersburg and Russia. For example, earlier this month, they have excursion to one of the ancient city in Russia, which is Kov. So anyways, that is all from me. I hope you can join Liti and you can meet with me. I would love to meet my fellow Malaysians and I can help you as much as I can. Terima kasih. Sama-sama. Ah, Sama-sama, <laughs> Nils. Thank you so much. It was a very good and very bright uh, presentation of your university. I'm really happy. Uh, thank you very much. And of course, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the management of the university, St. Petersburg Electric Technical University. Just a second. I'm so sorry. Okay. Miss Minina, I would like to thank you and of course your team. Uh, for this uh, beautiful and bright and uh, so expressive presentation. And of course, I am really happy that you have a uh, Malaysian student. And uh, my usual question is, uh, uh, do you speak Russian, Amir? I would like to, uh, <laughs> to address my question Good to you. Ticket, <laughs> Yeah, ticket, ticket, yeah. Ticket, ticket. But okay, thank you so much. But today, let's teach Anastasia Minina, Miss Minina, and uh, Anastasia from International Department, how to speak Bahasa Malayu. Can? Yeah. Okay, for example, Anastasia told us, see you again in Malaysia, in Malay, in Bahasa Malayu, it means Jum, Jumpa lagi. See you. <laughs> Jumpa lagi, yeah. Jumpa lagi, okay. Yeah. To make your university more Malay friendly, okay? Okay, let's go. Um, thank you. Terima kasih. In Russian? Uh, in Russian, Spasiba Bolshoi. Spasiba Bolshoi. Okay. Pajalista. What does it mean? Pajalista. Pajalista, please. Pajalista, please. You are welcome. And in, in uh -huh. Malay language? Sama sama. Okay, sama sama. Sometimes you can write sama too. Yes, yes. yes. Sama sama. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, how to greet in Malay? Uh, sorry? How to, greet, how to greet, for example, uh, uh, good morning. Oh, selamat pagi. Assalamualaikum. Okay, la. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you have to add la la la, yes? Yeah, 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 yeah. To make uh, St. Petersburg Electrotechnical University more Malaysia friendly. Okay, la? Yes. Okay. Jumpa yep. lagi. Jumpa lagi. Jumpa lagi. See you again. Do svidania. So Do svidania. Thank you so much. Can you, can you. Thank you very much. It's a little Thank bit loudy. Much. I'm really sorry. And uh, it means uh, we have to say goodbye to all of you, our dear internet audience. Our close partner, St. Petersburg Electric Technical University. See you again. And of course, we will hope, we hope that uh, Malaysian students, um, uh, Amir, we will be able to invite more Malaysian students, okay, to your university. Okay? Yes, uh, as Malaysian said, inshallah. Inshallah. We yes. will <laughs> use the phrase too. Inshallah. Thank you yes. very much. See you again. You and much. goodbye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye.